friends. Thanks for checking in. I shared with you before, I took a carbine class and my EOTech optic failed on me. It wasn't the battery issue. It wasn't anything that I could have prevented. The optic itself failed and it made for a tough experience because I was in the midst of a carbine class. So instead of training, I was trying to make my way through this without the optic. And, and it was fine, but I was disappointed and there was no way I was going to replace that with another EOTech. So I went shopping around for the best optic, the best red dot for the money. And this is what I came up with, Vortex Strike Fire 2. It is a quality made optic, very tough, many adjustments on here to, to custom fit the way you want to use it. It does come with a cantilever mount and also I got a Vortex 3x magnifier. This combination together costs less than one EOTech 512. So here we have an excellent setup. This is what the review today is about, so let's get to it. The Vortex Strike Fire 2 and the 3 time magnifier work really well together. The 3 time magnifier can be tilted to the left or the right. I currently have it tilting to the left. I like the way that works. Many right-handed shooters choose to tilt it to the right and that's fine. Simple adjustment in the mounting process will allow you to do that. The Strike Fire 2 has the simplicity that I'm looking for in a red dot. Everything is adjusted with these two buttons right here. Now, before I get into that, I want to talk about what makes this simple. I like the dust covers, all right, both front and rear. They do stay attached to the optic itself. And one thing that's kind of neat is that this top, this cap here for the elevation and the windage on the side have that indentation there so that you could use that to adjust your dot and, and make sure that it is sighted in. So that's kind of nice. A lot of times, you know, you're scrambling around for a, a dime or a penny to do that and they, they have it already on the cap. Now, this top button is the on button. So you hold that for about four seconds, the dot appears and it is also the intensity button. So it raises the intensity and the bottom button lowers the intensity. If you were to hold on to the bottom button it would change the color of the dot from red to green or back and forth so this is a red dot and or a green dot now the one thing that i find impressive is that the the bright uh, or the the not so bright wherever you decide to put that intensity is it's a clear glass it's a clear dot and even on the most sunny day as you can see me shooting here very sunny and bright day I was able to pick up that red dot just fine. It, it's never uh, to a point where you're not going to be able to pick up the dot based on the shooting conditions. A lot of people like the green dot at night. I'm certainly not going to say that's a bad idea, but um, this optic certainly offers that. Battery compartment here. Here is your, your windage, and there's the indentation I was telling you about. And the cantilever mount is nice. Now, the three-time magnifier is a very nice addition to this setup together they work really well there is nothing like shooting say a hundred yards away and just bringing that image that you are firing the target just so much closer and a simple twist to this will will do this now right around two hundred dollars maybe a little less you get the, the three time magnifier and it it just works really well the strike fire 2 uses a cr2 battery and this compartment right here simply twists this off to change it out it has an incredible battery life at its max brightness if you were to keep it at its max brightness it would still have 300 hour battery life at its lowest brightness it would be like three times more than that so you're not going to be changing out the battery as you would with some other optics or as many times as you would now one of the things i really appreciate is that if you leave this optic on for an extended period of time it will automatically shut off i cannot tell you how many times i have gone to the range and realized that i left my optic on and that battery is dead and therefore i have to change my plans because i have a dead optic should not happen with the vortex strike fire 2 i took the strike fire 2 off the rifle and closed the front dust cover and this is what your dot looks like it's actually a clear dot than what this camera is picking up right now everything is adjusted with these two buttons now if i hold the lower button 
about four count it will turn to green and there it is now I'm noticing in the camera that that is pulsating a little bit but in real life it does not pulsate it is a crisp and clear green dot and here I can turn it back to red just by holding that down and there it is red again so there it is guys vortex strike fire 2 and three times magnifier this combination is really nice and it's priced right it reviews very well people love this setup i love this setup i've had it for about three months now very impressed with it i like the budget price of it and i like its simplicity as well very easy to operate very easy to use and together it's a quality setup and i'm certainly pleased with it I'll, I'll most likely have a couple more of these for some of my other rifles that's how impressed i am with it i think you will be as well if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe